Hello, my beautiful people. I am back today, and today we will learn about food. It is part one of the video because, as you know, there's a lot of types of food, and I have divided food yedzenie into two lessons because, yes, it deserves a topic for two lessons. And today's one will be about vegetables, vajiva, and fruits. Ovoce. And the next lesson will be about meat, mienso, desserts, desere. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, here, um, the first vegetable that I will be uh, showing you is pomidor. So tomato. And as we can see in the brackets, we have the plural version. Wherever you see a bracket, that means that you simply add the letter. Like in this example, pomidor is singular. Pomidore is plural. So just for your information, pomidor, pomidore. After that, we will have different types of plurals. So we have ogurek is a one cucumber. Ogurek. But here you can see a slash. That's because whatever is in bold is exchanged. It's changed for whatever you see. So we no longer say ogurek. We will say ogurki. We have lettuce and that's sawata. Sawata. And also we have potatoes. Ziemniak. Or ziemniaki. We also have a radish. Zotkiewka, Zotkiewki. We also have peppers. Papryka, Papryka, Papryki. And carrots. Marchewka, Marchewki. Also onion. Cebula, Cebule in the plural version. What other vegetables, warzywa, we have that are very popular? In Polish cuisine, we do use a lot of garlic. So, czosnek, czosnek, or in the plural, czosnki. I know, this one is a little bit difficult because we have the nki and that doesn't come out natural. But uh, listen again, czosnki, snki, okay, czosnki. Kukuridza is our next vajivo. Vajiva is plural, vajivo is singular. So, uh, kukuridza. And the very healthy one, broccoli, that's brokuwa. Brokuwe. And this one, it's rather popular in Poland. Uh, I haven't seen much of it in, uh, for example, Ireland when I was there. Not like exactly the most popular um, vegetable on the planet there. So, cauliflower. Calafior, calafior, or calafiore. So, next one, the one that is from the Halloween town. We don't celebrate Halloween in Poland, but pumpkin is dynia, dynia, or in the plural, dynie. Spinak, spinak. And beetroot, we have this famous beetroot soup that is always on the uh, Polish table during the um, Christmas time. Uh, and that is burak, buraki. So um, the soup itself is actually czerwone barszcz. If you don't know it, check out the video about Christmas traditions. You'll see it there. Um, burak, buraki. Eggplant. Eggplant, completely different in Polish, doesn't even have similar names. It's bakwajan. Bakwajany in the plural version. Now it's time to explore some of the fruits. Owoce and apples. Apples are extremely popular in Poland because we cultivate a lot of them and they're really, really good. Yapko. Yapko. Yabka. Okay. Yabuko. Yabuka. Mm hmm. And after that, bananas. Simple. Banan. Or banane in the plural version. Citrina is our next fruit. Citrina. Or in the plural, citrine. So as you can see, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables that are simple in the way how we make its plural uh, version. But some of them are a little bit trickier. 
here we have grushka, which is a pear, but in the plural version, it's not grushki because the sound is not really Polish. Szki is not, but szki already is because remember we like to make the sounds softer so soft sound gruszka gruszki next one strawberries we love them in poland when there is the time the season for truskawka uh, you can see them being sold everywhere truskawka truskawki also a very p uh, popular um, fruit in poland is wiśnia Wiśnie. Uh, raspberries are an also very popular, of course, everywhere. Malina in the singular form and maliny in the plural. We love jagoda, jagody in Poland. Uh, we have even those pastry uh, that we, we can find in all bakeries that are filled with a lot of jagody. Next one, we have uh, arbus. So watermelon, arbus. Notice that even though the last letter is Z, I pronounce it like letters S. And it's always because we like to say and pronounce things softly, okay? And it would be really awkward to say arbus, like to, to, to highlight that. So make it soft, arbus. And arbus. Now we have another letter so we can pronounce the Z. Arbus. Next one. Super popular, brzoskwinia, brzoskwinie. Oranges, pomarańcza, pomarańcze, pomarańcze. And pineapple is ananas, ananasy. And that's all. Thank you very much for this quick lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, give me a like because that helps, uh, helps to motivate me to, get, to make more lessons for you. We'll see each other in the next lesson about meat, mięso and desserts. That's it. Thank you. Dziękuję.